Hello and welcome back to Firmbus Coach Simulator here on the Xbox Series X and welcome to Poland as well. And last time we ended up at Lodz, so today we're going to go from Lodz to Warsaw Airport, just here. Let's get in the bus. And let's set it up. Destination display. Going to Warsaw hopefully, yep. Yeah. Uh, start ignition, just here. Uh, turn on air conditioning, just here. Balmy 21 degrees as usual. Close the front door, yep. Yeah. Uh, what's next? The foot brake, uh, shift up the gear, release the parking brake, we can go in a minute, <laughs> and then accelerate. That's fine. So, we have to turn left. Now, my regular viewers will know that I play with a, 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 an Xbox controller and also the Crossmaster T248 wheel, but I'm, I'm playing with the Xbox controller at the moment. Because I can look around. I keep saying this. You're probably getting bored of me saying this, but anyway, this is uh, this is what I'm using at the moment. And here's Lodz, by the way. And if you live in Lodz, hello. And how do you say hello in Polish? I'm not sure. So there's three stops in Warsaw. There's an undiscovered bus stop. There's the bus station itself, I think, and the airport is where we're going today. So I'm interested to see what Warsaw Airport looks like and after I've made the episode I'll look it up online to see if it looks anything, you know, if, if it's realistic. Now I'm really determined today to not crash and not bump any curbs or anything and I find it funny that when I play ETS2 or American Truck Simulator, I never, I never have any accidents at all. So I blame this game. It's not my fault. It's this game. And where do we go here? Do we go. I think we go down here actually. Yeah, I've played ETS2 and ATS loads recently and I never ever hit the curbs or anything. So I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's this maybe it's the game, maybe it's me, I don't know. So here we are in Lodz again and here we are ready to pick up our passengers and let's do this fairly quickly. Oh, the internet, okay. <laughs> Wi-Fi clearance. Okay, well, we stop at a lot of red lights, so these people will have to wait. Da hat sich jemand im WC eingesperrt oder kommt nicht mehr heraus. All right then, let's do their restroom for them. And I can do this on Thrustmaster, uh, if I can find the right buttons for it. Okay, we can go. So yeah, the, three, the Thrustmaster T248 wheel is what I'm using, and it's a pleasure to use this wheel with this game. It's much easier for me anyway, uh, because the steering is just a lot more controllable. And I have the feedback 
the force feedback turned right down so it's really light the steering is really light and I'm determined today just really determined not to hit anything so wish me luck with that <laughs> Because if you even hit the curbs, it goes down on your record. I think we go straight on actually, so I'm going to go through, yeah, go to the right and we go straight on. I would love to use actually the, um, the scan one of the Scania buses. It's in DLC, but um, they're quite expensive. These DLCs. I mean, this Poland DLC was 25 quid in the UK, probably more like 30 dollars or something. Quite expensive, you know, when you compare it. I've said this. I moaned about this last time, but I'm going to do it again. Uh, when you compare it to what SCS software charge for, you know different states in America or, or new DLC for ETS2. I mean they charge about £10 for, for each one. A lot that's a lot less, isn't it, you know, than 25 quid for what what is really quite a small area. I feel like I'm going too fast now. And a red light, is this a red light? I'm not sure if this is a red light or not. Well, I still haven't hit anything, that's the main point. So, I said last time, but going through the towns like this... Where do I go now? Oh, right down here. Going through the towns like this gives you much more of a feel for the country than, you know, the motorways. So, this is why I'm spending probably a lot of time, a lot of time in the, in the video, going through, um, you know, going through the town. We'll soon be out on the motorway and then it'll be, you know, just like anywhere else. recording in a different room today can you tell <laughs> I'm recording in my bedroom which is quite small quite a small bedroom and I used to record in the loft oh I just I'm just worried here about hitting stuff so and I can't look around either because I'm using the Thrustmaster get through this bit without hitting it. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> uh, I haven't hit anything yet. I'm so proud of myself. motorway very very good and which way do we no we go this oh I nearly hit him <laughs> we go this way don't we ah confusing anyway hopefully this is the motorway and we haven't got very far to go today 131 kilometers is not that far but I still might try and do or will try and do a rest stop if there's an opportunity for it just get around this scary bend
Yeah, I should have looked at the map actually to see if there's a rest stop on the way to Warsaw. Uh, but we'll, yeah, we'll just, you know, play it by ear or whatever. Warsaw, did that say Warsaw on the, on the sign up there? Poznan. Warsaw. Does that mean Warsaw? I don't know. Can you see that? The one on the right hand side, Warsaw. Do we have to get off? We do have to get off here, yeah. So this is our the way to Warsaw, and I do hope this is going to be um, a motorway. Yeah, Warsaw. Is that how you pronounce it in Polish? So I mentioned about my van last time. A van had to go in for an MOT on um, Tuesday this week and it failed miserably and it's got to have a lot of work done to it. So I think I mentioned it on, on in my Wednesday video that it was going in for its MOT and the result of the MOT is a failure, big fat failure. It needs a new wheel bearing, it needs new brake pipes and the emissions are too high. And there was something else, yeah, the water squirt is not working. So, uh, but it's going to cost a lot of money, basically. So that's fun, you know. I was... So we've only got 44, 43 kilometres to go, and we're there. It seems like a very short journey today. Oh no, not this. Micro pauses. Uh, yeah, it seems like a very short journey today, and I'm really looking forward to... What does it say up there? I'm not sure. Really looking forward to seeing what Warsaw Airport looks like. I think it said Warsaw straight ahead, and I need to break a little bit. Yeah, I think it said Warsaw... Oh, not this. Don't forget we're on the Xbox Series X, but not on the PC, so... I never have this happen on any other game, this, uh, you know, micro pausing and everything. So it needs sorting out, you know. I, I did, uh, another YouTuber said you need to have the, uh, the traffic on about 40% to get rid of it, so I need to look at that as well. But I think at the moment I should be looking for the exit because there's only 28 kilometres to go. slow here because I just don't want to hit the barrier you know right I'm still using the um, the Thrustmaster wheel but I'm going to change the controller when we get into the town a little bit because I'll need to look around and stuff but it's been really nice to use it it's um, a Thrustmaster T248 wheel and it works really well with this game uh, the steering is the steering is much easier when you use a wheel, you know, it's a pleasure to use it. Right, and while we stopped, I'm going to switch back over to the Xbox controller. Actually, this is not good using the Xbox controller. Compared to the wheel, it's very, very sort of sensitive. Very sensitive. And this is Warsaw. So, let's have a look around at Warsaw. Super Plus 
so petrol's about two euros a litre. I, d I don't really know what that is in pounds actually, but I don't know, that's probably about 180 or something in pounds. Yeah, this is a bit more of a struggle <laughs> not to hit the curbs now because I, I'm going to go through this light. I'm nearly there anyway. Which way? Which way? Well, we have to go this way, I think. Yeah, definitely this way. Oh, this is really horribly difficult not to hit the curbs. <laughs> but. I'm determined not to. I, I really don't feel like I'm on, I'm on my way to the airport. This is too sort of, you know, like towny sort of thing. The airports are normally, you know, outside of cities, aren't they? Is this it here? Oh gosh, where on earth do we go now? <laughs> Up here. Yeah, I went the wrong way up there. Um, this is the right way, and unfortunately, I just knocked over one of the signs and had a light accident. And now I'm a bit, a bit depressed <laughs> because I didn't want to have an accident today. I wanted it to be perfect, but because it was so confusing here, I went a bit wrong. So now where do we go? In here, I think. We must do, mustn't we? I don't want to have another accident, so... Okay, we must, we must be nearly there. This looks more like an airport to me now. <laughs> and I didn't expect it to be like in a town, but maybe it is. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Just here. And my... Da kann sich die Bahn echt mal ein Beispiel nehmen. Oh, the Germans like me. Brilliant. All right then, so let's put the brake on first of all. And we'll put it in neutral and we'll turn the, turn the engine off. Let's, let's get out. Let's log out. And how did we do today? Passengers transported, all green, contact with central. Um, I'm looking for accidents here. Oh, <laughs> I just won. Oh dear. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it today. I've enjoyed going to Poland and to the airport. And next time we'll do, I'm not sure where we'll go next time, so we're completely un unpronounceable. But thanks for joining me and bye for now.